Every week, the Xfinity editors pick the TV show, movie, or special event they are most excited about right now. And this week, we will kick things off with me. And the premiere I'm most excited about for this week is the long-awaited Mandalorian spinoff Star Wars Ahsoka, which premieres with two episodes on Disney Plus this Wednesday, August 23rd. So let's take a quick look at a clip. This is a new beginning. For some, war. Thrawn's calculated moves leave me in a constant state of unease. Perhaps it is time to begin again. I tried to survive for many years because of the rebels. Now is the time to stand up. My master always taught me to fight outside the rules. Everything leading up to this moment has been rehearsal. The real performance is about to begin. If you are unfamiliar with the Star Wars character Ahsoka Tano, she debuted in the popular 2008 Cartoon Network series Star Wars The Clone Wars, where she was portrayed as a Jedi Padawan studying under the one and only Anakin Skywalker before, of course, he becomes the iconic villain Darth Vader. The character quickly became a fan favorite, and following the critically acclaimed first season of the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian, fans begin to, uh, began to petition for actor Rosario Dawson to play the grown-up version of Ahsoka in a live-action adaptation. Well, fans got their wish, and Dawson made a somewhat surprise appearance in, the season, uh, in season two of The Mandalorian, as well as the one and only season of The Book of Boba Fett. Now she has her own, very own series in which Ahsoka joins forces with her former apprentice, a Mandalorian named Sabine Wren, to track down a dangerous galactic empire kingpin known as Grand Admiral Thrawn. The series co-stars recognizable names such as Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Ray uh, Stevenson, and David Tennant. There are even rumors that Hayden Christensen will reprise his role as Anakin Skywalker, continuing his redemption tour as Anakin Skywalker and all these years later. Um, and even if you haven't been keeping up with the Star Wars series on Disney+, Plus, I think this is one that you can and should jump into this week because Rosario Dawson is excellent as this character. Um, Liz, Sammy, any interest in this one from you guys? Yes. <laughs> Liz. <laughs> I can't it's even okay. fake that. It's okay. <laughs> I can't Sammy. fake it. I'm sorry. But like, Sammy, you go ahead because you're excited about it. Okay. Well, I am I would consider myself like a baby Star Wars fan. I caught up on the entire franchise during the pandemic when we were all knee deep in franchise watching. And I can't say that it's my favorite of the nerdy kingdoms, but... I do love the Disney Plus series. I think they're really well done. I think the set design and production and costuming is just incredible. Obviously, the cast that they have is top notch. Like, I love Rosario Dawson. Um, this one, I don't even really know much about the character of Ahsoka, but I just love Rosario Dawson. And I love that it follows a strong female character. And I'm just really excited to see this one. Yeah. yeah, like like most Star Wars, you can have I think like a pretty service surface level knowledge of a character because and you kind of have to because otherwise there are like books and comics and like endless you know like uh, a, an endless amount of backstory material on some of these characters. Yeah. Like Ahsoka has an entire animated series worth of of stuff about her. I was on. Wikipedia, which is the Star Wars Wikipedia, <laughs> and the entry for Ahsoka is endless because not only do they have that 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 cartoon series, but there's been other books and and content written about her, and it's like, and she was this, and she knew this character, and she trained under this person, and then she was betrayed, and you're like, I don't know, I can't, I can't do any of this, but you don't have to. You can jump straight into this series, um, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I think I might do that. I feel like this whole Star Wars thing feels very intimidating to me. And I think I was turned off by it. I I, I had a boyfriend in, in college who was really into it. And I just like, even though I tried, I really, really did. I just could not 
get into it. And then at some point when we broke up, it was just like a, ugh, every time I thought of Star Wars, <laughs> I thought of him. Um, and it's so funny because my husband has my girls like watching all of, they're sitting here and they've been binging and going through and watching each of them. And he's trying to like educate them on the whole Star Wars thing. So I'm so glad that they're getting it. And I leave the room and go read a book or something, but not, um, yeah, I don't know enough about it. I feel like it's very intimidating to your point, David. There's a lot. It's it's a whole lot. You don't even know where to get started. But it, this looks like a great place, if any, for me, because I do love Rosario Dawson, Sammy. So um, I think this might be a great um, place to, to I'm not going to say like be a converted fan, but like I might love this show. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's, it's similar to like the Marvel series. Like you yeah. can jump in and watch a, uh, uh wandavision and like never watch anything again and still like kind of enjoy it because maybe you like elizabeth olsen or one of those you know i think a lot of the marvel disney plus series are like this and um so yeah worth checking out awesome liz what are you excited about uh, this, month, or this week i should say <laughs> so this week i'm excited about who is erin carter on netflix um it's coming out on August 24th. It is, I'm super excited about this show because I mean, look at the diversity in the cast. I'm, it's great. It's shot in Spain. And it's a story about a British mom, wife, teacher who lives a regular schmegular life and gets caught up in a supermarket uh, robbery that goes badly and someone recognizes her and maybe she's not as regular schmegular as she'd like to pretend she is, right? So that is um, appealing to me. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to it and um, can't wait to to watch it again on Netflix on August 24th. So I have got it all ready. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to watch Who is Erin Carter? Why does this sound familiar to me? A supermarket <laughs> robbery? Sammy, what am I, what am I reminded of? <laughs> I don't know. I first went to like supermarket stakeout. On the <laughs> I love that. Not the same thing, but I think the true crime like, version. Um, Good Girls on NBC. I think they like in the beginning of that series. Didn't they rob a supermarket? Yes. And then what about that 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 movie? Um, was it uh was it jaw was it Jawbreaker? where they all like wore Betty masks and robbed a, a supermarket somehow. I don't know. Listen, it's uh, a scary place, the supermarket. So it all, <laughs> either way, all of them involve someone who's not so regular schmegular uh, <laughs> robbing or being involved in the supermarket robbery. Yeah. So she's not, I don't think in it, she gets caught up. And I think one of the robbers recognizes her and she, I think, think and i don't know enough to be quite honest with you but i think that she's covering up something maybe a past that she's trying to walk Ooh. away from yeah so, i love this yes me too <laughs> and turns out like she's badass like she can fight and she's like fighting and yeah so and i love again another strong woman um in a lead role so yeah yeah especially when they're not regular regular pretending to be and then you turn out to be like a badass right like mm. love it Excited. Strong, strong woman in the lead role means Netflix is going to cancel it after one season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you weren't right. I hope not. Sorry, Netflix. That's okay. uh, <laughs> I'm still excited about it. I'll support it. We'll get to, we'll get more to more of this in our young adult segment later on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sammy, what are you excited about this week? Okay. Also on Netflix, my pick for this week is the new, also YA, Netflix comedy movie, You Are So Not Invited to My Bar Mitzvah, which premieres this week on August 25th on Netflix, like I mentioned. The film is based on the 2007 young adult novel of the same name, which tells the story of two best friends whose bat mitzvahs go awry when a popular boy at school causes a little bit of drama between the girls. Something that makes me really excited about this movie, aside from it being about a bat mitzvah, um, is the cast, which is basically royalty of Jewish media, Adina Menzel and Adam Sandler. 
in addition to Adam Sandler's entire family, including his wife his, and his two daughters, Sonny and Sadie, and his wife, Jackie, like I mentioned. Um, so I am a big fan of the Adam Sandler family and universe, so I'm very excited to see their interactions on screen. I think his daughters are playing the daughters, or the two girls in the movie itself. Um, so yeah, I love any any mention of bat mitzvahs or <laughs> the very specific Jewish upbringing that is so relatable. Um, I haven't read this novel before, so I'm really excited to watch the movie and just watch, like I mentioned, the king and queen of, of Jewish movies and media, Adina Menzel and Adam Sandler. I love it. Who who was so not invited to your bat mitzvah family? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know who's out there. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. <laughs> did, you have a, did you have a big themed event? I did. This this is a great moment to talk about my theme. Thank you, David. Uh, uh, my bat mitzvah happened on April 25th, 2009. And at the time, and still now, I was a big uh, environmentalist. So my theme was eco-friendly. Just the umbrella, eco-friendly. <laughs> um, my color scheme was brown, blue, and green because <laughs> nature. Uh, <laughs> And everything was recycled, and I had peace signs on everything. It was a really uh, groovy time. Yeah. I also uh, I performed the Hoedown Throwdown from the Hannah Montana movie, which had just recently been released. So there was a break in the party, and then I then performed in front of all of my guests. Uh, oh, my God. There out. must be. There must be video. I was just thinking that. We needed not. that video. <laughs> I'm really hoping there's no uh, <laughs> photographic right. or video evidence. Of. Did you have it at a special venue? Um, it was at a, I think, a Westin hotel nearby. Okay. Yeah, it was a good time. If you if you both had a, a bar bar mitzvah, what would your theme have been at 13 years old? Oh, that's a good one. 13. I mean, this the same stuff I talk about being obsessed with. I would probably be a professional wrestling themed. <laughs> but it's that would have been awesome. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it would have been. I had like my um. Anytime I had a birth a birthday, my mom would get me a you know I like a I think like a lot of kids of the 80s or 90s like a cake that had like little plastic figurines of whatever you like. So I had a lot of Ninja Turtle cakes. I did eventually have a wrestling cake with a little hard plastic wrestler with like his with his fists up on top. I think I had a Ghostbusters theme at one point. So it would have been one of those. Wow. How about you, Liz? I don't I think it would have been uh theater like related. Ooh. I really thought I wanted to be on Broadway. Um but I can't sing and <laughs> or not well. Um, so that dream died quickly, but like I loved um, theater and just watching shows and Broadway. So I think maybe it would have been that. But that is like, that's a commitment, right? Like then you look back and do you cringe at all, Sammy, when you think about your, I feel <laughs> like <laughs> that's the purpose uh, of this exercise is like to think back and cringe at your theme. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's what it's for, really. It's just so that. You can look years back. Later, you can look back and go. go oh. oh my gosh, I've grown so much as a person. <laughs> Did you have dirt cups like the pudding with the with the oh. Oreo crumbles and worms? I didn't, but that would have been so good. Those are good. Oh, a missed opportunity. Yeah. Can can we like can you re That's renew fine. your bat mitzvah? Like people renew their wedding vows. Can we do it all over and <laughs> can yeah. plan it for you? I was thinking for my thirtieth birthday, I would do a thirteen going on thirty theme, <gasps> yes. which would then be a, a redo of my bat mitzvah. So oh, that's so good. That yeah. is such a good idea. Ho down, throw down, all over again. Oh yes, oh, my God, love that, love it. Fantastic. Well, we'll put that, that on appointment TV. We will. <laughs> that is appointment TV. And you can check out all the premieres we just talked about uh, and so much more simply by saying what to watch into your Xfinity voice remote.